Okay. There's just too much um, This one here is a good example of how badly it's, um, the vertical is not perfect. The bottom one spins back and forth. This one here, just a little bit aggravated. This one here. Just a little bit aggravated. This one is quite a bit more aggravated, misaligned. That one there is misaligned pretty good too. So all of these are just too much variation in what I need. This thing has to run as smooth as a kitten's purr in the alignment process. Now that's all I got. I'm going to rebuild this secondary structure here and get the alignment from the top to the bottom. No, no, I take that back. I'm going to replace the bottom because this board is uh, not strong enough and as many times as I've tried to align my centers, it, uh, it still, I didn't have the, the two structures on top completed, and that's critical. So, um, if I replace this, I center the top with this, um, dynamically with the bottom, everything should be much better. I'll use a thicker board and uh, the stability and everything is going to change shape quite a bit without any other modification. So that's what I'm going to be doing. One more look. You see I've got breeze over here. Alright, that's just a look at how we're doing it, get an idea of what's possible, center this thing up, should be pretty accurate way to do it. Oh, wasn't even recording, alright, here's my last gimbal, I, I loosened it up a little bit, up on top. Um, it's not grumpy at all this direction. And in this direction was the grumpy direction. And you can see it. Still didn't uh, zero out real well. Put more weight on it it would would help all right this looks like back to the drawing board not centered 
so it's going to be pretty much I have to disconnect this gimbal and the complete the, com the complete gimbal from here and then make a slide that will slide this way and a slide that will slide this way for this gimbal to operate then get my verticals perfect because this machine is not not a guessing game you got a zero in my estimation you've got a zero tolerance because if you're working with a one degree slope I don't know if I explained to you before or if I didn't upload the video or whatever but the slope I'm talking about is a slope where you are going down a hill and that slope is predicated on the distance between these two pins this thing's going to be long but I moved it okay here it'll fit in here just barely okay so let's say that's zero and this is this is our slope this is the angle that we're pulling off of zero. And for this to work correctly, this has to represent one degree the entire... Oh, I've got it too tight and I'm gluing something. I can't do this for you unless I pull it off the top. So, oh shoot, that sucker's long. Okay, this angle has to be precisely consistent. If you have anything less than consistent angle, you will not get your outfit to rotate. I wonder if I've got a funky bearing on that one. Appears to be a good bearing. So if you're pulling a 1% grade, you want that damn thing to be 1% in the entire 360 degrees. If you've got 2% on this side, it'll never it'll never spin past there. If you're dealing with a 4%, oh yeah, you, you don't have any problem finding where it's going to rotate. But that's not the principle here. The principle is absolute balance and use of gravity. If you're going to go downhill here and uphill here, you're screwing yourself. So you got to pull a, a one degree slope. I'm talking about this angle here. This is the slope that we're all dealing with has absolutely zero to do with the weight out here until you start creating um, other uh, um, um, action with weight um, uh, kinetic energy but right now to set this up it absolutely has to be zeroed because if you want a quarter of a percent you can make this damn thing um, rotate on a quarter percent. Water will run. You got a clean bearing. You will run run it down the hill at one percent. You will pick up speed. All right. So I'm not messing around here. This has to be zero. Just wanted to let you know. Uh, this isn't child's play. It is uh, serious engineering. You got to get it right. Thanks for watching. God bless everybody.